Y'all, we just pulled up at the house and look what we're seeing. Oh my gracious. Do y'all know what that is? Y'all, literally, look, me and Mary Carl just pulled up. We went to uh, pedal from the past today and picked up some items. And as soon as we pulled up, I saw the materials out there. Let's go, let's go look. Let us go look at what we got over here. This is a uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> oh my gracious. Woo, wow. Wow, wow, wow. While I'm walking over here to give some of you guys an update that may not know is that we are or have been planning to build a barn for our farm and somewhere where we can house the goats, uh, somewhere where Brooke can start milking the goats, have a milking room, a milking station, somewhere where we can park the tractors, a barn. It's gonna have stalls in it. Uh, this is a, uh, this is big, 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 big. Wow. They told me that materials may be coming in. And I wasn't expecting a, a boom truck and a big old trailer and just metal and stuff everywhere. <laughs> I, don't, I wasn't expecting that at all. This is awesome. So about two months ago, Mr. Greg came and did the pad for us right here. And you may have seen it in the videos. Mr. Greg came and did the pad for us and got it level and got it ready to build the barn on. And we've just been waiting for the time for it to come. And y'all, it is here. This is awesome. The barn is here. Look at this. We got our poles right here. I'm looking over here and here is the trusses, our metal. Here, look at this. Brent Cog Hill, how about that? This is awesome. Whoo, the boom truck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now I do have some rain coming in tomorrow. And so I don't know exactly when the build will start. I'll uh, send Brent a text and ask him, but golly, let's get up here and look. <laughs> we gotta get up here and look, y'all. Look at here, our trusses are all here and I don't know if you guys saw it or not but right here it says cog kill cog it says white uh brand cog kill black we are doing a two-tone barn that's what we're going with so it'll be uh black and white that's the coloration that we're going with on the barn and we decided to do that because we just thought it looked cool. We found a picture one we really liked and that's what we went with. That's what I sent to Brant and we just love it. It is, uh, it'll have just a little bit of black at the bottom and then the rest will be just all white and it will match our house, which is, you know, basically all white, but with some black. And it's going to be a 40 by 60 with I can't remember now, y'all, it's been a minute. Either 12 foot or 10 foot lean-tos on the side. And that'll give the animals somewhere to get as well out of the weather. And we can put hay under there, um, their feed and waterers under the lean-to. But this is only beginning once Brant and them, and I don't think it's gonna take in that long because this is a barn, this isn't a house. So there's not gonna be any interior walls or anything like that. This is just gonna be a barn. And I don't know, y'all, this is, um, it's gonna go fairly quicker than the house did. And if some of y'all don't know, we're using Brant the Builder, the same gentleman and company that built the barn and menu. He did an awesome job for us. We trust him and we know he's gonna do an awesome job as well on the barn itself. So once this gets built, then we gotta worry about water and fencing, how we're gonna do all the fencing and that kind of thing. And, you know, we kind of got an idea in our head but we also, also want to see it, and that way we can kind of physically, I don't know, I'm a visual person. I am, I got to see things. I can't think of it. Um, 
I even tried the Google Map thing and look, I, I, I can't do it. I just, I, just, I, just, I just can't do it. So once the barn gets built, then we'll figure out how the pastures are going to go and all that kind of thing. But we are leaning towards, or we've, we've pretty much discussed it, and that is the, um, like from this spot over here, we do know this from like, from here that big oak tree is, and over in the pond, we're gonna fence all that in, and that's where Nugget and the geese are gonna go. And possibly Peaches, we're gonna give Peaches an option to go wherever she wants to go, uh, give her a full range. Um, she wants to get in there with the geese, geese though, she probably would eat all their eggs. But that's neither here nor there, we'll figure all that out. But today, this is, this is huge day, even Holly is excited. <laughs> Oh my gracious. Oh, there's nothing like a sand pile, is it, y'all? She's like a little five-year-old kid. <laughs> Here's also the exciting part is y'all may be wondering, where's Brooke? Well, Brooke had to go to the doctor today, just a normal doctor appointment, and so she'll be back a little bit later, and I can't wait to show her this. Did you see him drop it off? Did you see it top? Can you believe that? Can you believe that, buddy? Yeah, the barn is here. Ain't that awesome? Oh, I know you're gonna enjoy this barn. Nugget, guess what? The barn, the barn showed up. Did you see that? Yeah, and um, we haven't discussed this with you yet. But our thinking is, is moving you and the alarm system over to the pond and give y'all that whole area over there by the pond. I know how much you like to swim, and I know you like to go swimming in your birthday suit. And if you get down in there, won't nobody see you, okay? You know, I don't want you to scare anybody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Nugget. <laughs> Guys, the barn showed up. Yeah pretty exciting I was just telling Nugget we're thinking about moving when the barn gets built making y'all's paddock connect to the barn some kind of way and give you guys the pond you and Nugget pretty sure you guys will love that I know Nugget will I don't know what Nugget Nugget what are you looking at look at him he is on the sheriff what is it sheriff what do you see buddy I don't see anything. I don't see anything, Sheriff. I don't see anything, buddy. And this also will be where um, Rocky and Bandit, this will be their house. They'll be living in the barn. They'll have the barn. Uh, Peaches will have the barn. This, it's gonna be great. This is gonna be awesome. I don't wanna wake Peaches up though. Y'all look, she's sleeping. That's a good way to get fired right there is to start yelling about the barn and waking her up. But. Capri, barns here. Guess what? That means we're gonna have a milking room where mama can milk the goats. That's right. Won't that be great? We got so much stuff we wanna do with the goat milk. Oh goodness. Definitely want to use it to make cheese with. Uh, we got some goat milk from our dear friend Laura simply making it a couple of years ago. And that's when Brooke milked her goats for a week while she was gone on vacation. And y'all, we made the best vanilla ice cream I have ever had with that milk. It was amazing. So I can't get that out of my head. Now, Scott, I can't get that out of my head at all. That vanilla ice cream out of the goat milk. Oh, that's what I think about every time now when I think about goat's milk is that vanilla ice cream. It was delicious. Now this is the only paddock that we're leaving. And we're not tearing the fences down. We already got these fences here. We're gonna leave them. Not quite for sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, if we need to separate somebody, I guess we could have that. Uh, we can make gardens out of them. Um, and we just got all kind of options here we can do with them. This paddock's gonna stay just about like it is, pretty much. Um, we are planning on maybe planting some stuff in here and we're planning on putting a lean-to on the green coop right there. And I think we're gonna move the turkeys, but the peacocks and of course the pigeons 
will stay. The chickens will go. We're gonna have a chicken coop built in the barn some kind of way, we'll figure that out. And these chickens here will go. And I would love to get the ducks over there where they got access to the pond too. You know, I mentioned Nugget and the geese because they kind of live together. The ducks just kind of go wherever they want to. And they have been getting in the garden, the big garden. And that's a situation that I'm gonna to have to address pretty soon because ducks will eat your garden. Don't care what you read about putting ducks in your garden to help with pests, ducks will eat your garden. Or that has been my experience, that's been my friend's experience. Uh, Head Family Farm, they just had to put a fence around their garden, not because of their chickens, they're ducks. So ducks will get your garden. But I think if we move the ducks over there and let them have all that area, let them get used to it and let them see the pond. Now we did move the Muscovies, but I'm not talking about the Muscovies. I'm talking about all the other ducks, the men in black, their wives, um, topaz, and maybe that'll keep them out of the garden. Fingers crossed. Holly, what you think? <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe mama be home soon, right? So Brooke just sent a text and says she'll be home shortly. And uh, so uh, let's go meet her up here at the top. Cause you, know, you, she, you can't help but see it as soon as you drive up. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> what in the world? Can you believe it? Well, when I first pulled in, I was like, who is that over there? <laughs> hey, I thought it was people here too, but it's not. It's just... That's Brant's boom truck and the metal. And I thought I was gonna surprise you. <laughs> what are you gonna surprise me for? Well, hmm. I brought you a slice of strawberry Ooh. cake. But that doesn't compare to what you got a surprise. <laughs> Ain't that something? Wow, is it everything? It's everything, I believe, yeah. Oh my gracious. It is, I believe it's everything. I didn't I didn't know it. You know, me and Mary Carl pulled up from Pedals and I thought they were here. And uh, by then, you know, I kept looking. I was like, nobody's moving. <laughs> so there's oh. no no human over there. Just the materials are here. So did Brant say when he was going to start? I know he, he messaged you. He must have. Yeah. Well, he's hoping Monday. Okay. He's hoping Monday. But we got some big rain coming this evening. And it's going to rain all day tomorrow. But luckily... You know, I talked to Jason at Pedals, and he said the good thing about this rain is, is it's not supposed to be severe weather. Well, that's a good thing, and I see they have everything covered up. Everything's covered up and ready to roll. And I saw the metal. It says Cog, Kill, Brant on it, and it's white, white, and black. So, oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, um, you know, it, that's the day after Easter. It's Monday. Yeah. So, oh my gracious, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm I wasn't so expecting to see this. I was not expecting it whatsoever. Whatsoever. Wonder how long it'll take him to put it up. I don't think it's gonna take long. Because well, it's I, not the house. I don't think it's gonna take that long. Well, I you really know, don't. The house, he got the framing up really quick. Yeah. It's just all the intricate details on the inside that slowed things down. The entire house build didn't take long. No. It may, may have felt like it to you guys, yeah. but um, it didn't, according to what other people are experiencing. Considering a complete house build, yeah. So this is just going to be a shell, Actually, basically. two houses. He built us right. two houses, basically. Right. Your mom's house and our house so and a garage. Ten months is what it took to do every bit of that. Every bit and of that it. And that was, it was almost nine months because it was end of January. Right. My birthday when he started. So nine months to do that. Um, I think he may can finish it next week if the weather's permitting. I guess so. I'm not for sure. I hadn't talked to him about that. Um, because I really don't care. Oh, I don't care either. I, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want him to think we're, you know, pushing him. How long is it going to no, take? No, 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 no. I, I, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just as curious as you are about, you know, how long is it going to take him? I just want to know when I'll be seeing, you know, what it's going to look like. I know it. The size, because you can't tell. I mean, we know what the dimensions are. Right. But until you actually see the finished product, it's hard to imagine. It is hard to imagine. It really is. I've been thinking the same thing. Well, um, I need to take the boys over there and show them where they're going to be sure. living. You can do that. 
That's what I need to do. We'll do that. Show them the material because Absolutely. we haven't we haven't talked about this yet. You mean talk they, to the boys about it? No, they don't realize that they're gonna go from this area over here to have the whole reign of the barn. The whole barn's gonna be theirs and then the surrounding area and all that, yeah. That's a big dog house. That is a huge dog house. Yeah. What's going on, boys? Look, I got something I wanna to talk to y'all about. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Rocky. Okay, Mom. Did y'all see? When those people brought that material over there. Oh goodness, buddy. We gotta go show y'all this humongous dog house we're building. It is well, huge. we're not building it. <laughs> Brant's building it. Brant's building it. Oh goodness. I talked about it earlier how Mr. Greg had made the pad, but I forgot to mention that he built this road. He's done put a pipe in. When uh he said he wasn't gonna bring any rocks for it. Until they got through with the build. He said, because they're going to mess it up. Yeah, he didn't want it to be a muddy mess. Right. If concrete trucks come in. Or... Well, that's a pretty big truck right there. That's a pretty big truck. But that ain't got the weight of a concrete truck. No. And we're only thinking about concrete in the middle section only. The stalls wouldn't be concrete. And, of course, under the lean-tos wouldn't be concrete. I think concrete in the stalls, where the goats will be, would be more trouble than it would be asset. Yeah, we've kind of read about it and yeah. it don't look like that's something you want to do. Wow. Yeah, I climbed up there. Did you? Yeah, I did. Well, I need this trailer too. I climbed up here. That's a lot of trusses. Ain't it though? Wow. I don't know if uh, Bandit and Holly are going to come over here. They're playing pretty I hard. I talked about it in the last video that Bandit and Holly play so well together and they just have it. Little, you know, little Rocky now. Rocky said he don't he dates with mama. participate in those shenanigans. But Bandit is the one that instigates it. Yeah, Bandit loves playing with Holly. And poor little Rocky, he said he just... He'd just rather just be with Mama. <laughs> He's a Mama's boy. And Mama's okay with that, too. Yeah. He's a Mama's boy. That's okay. All right, Rocky, this is your future home right here. You're going to have it made, boy. Yep. We're going to put him a big old fan in the center. We are. One of those giant fans. That's our plan. A giant fan to keep everything cool. Guess who made it over here? There's Bandit. There's Bandit. Hey, big boy. And here's Holly. Hey, Holly. Holly loves playing in the sand pile, by the way. Does she? Yeah. I don't know if the boys have seen it. Watch her. Go show it to him, Holly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Holly's so fast and they're so close. Oh, gosh. It's like a sumo wrestler and a gymnast. Well, <laughs> After it rains, we certainly don't want to bring them over here with this red light. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Oh, man.